Welcome to another episode of Book with Closers. Today we have a very special guest, Jason J. Miles. You've probably seen him on the internet. He has a YouTube channel, he has a couple businesses, and today we're going to talk about how to achieve financial freedom as a realtor and build real wealth. This episode is really important, so let's dive into it. Welcome to Coffee with Closers. In this series, we interview top real estate producers that are out there making big things happen in the real estate industry. That way you can learn from their failures and their big wins so you can start winning more in your real estate business. So Jason, welcome to the show. Uh, thanks for coming on. Thank you for having me. Yeah, yeah, of course. So uh, Jason, I wanted to have you on to talk about this topic because I know um, you started out as a new agent, you went through some turbulence, and then you eventually got to a point where you built multiple businesses and created some real wealth uh, for yourself. And I think that's something that a lot of agents want to do and replicate. So I figured, you know, having you on would be the perfect person to come on and talk about this. Yeah, I, I love talking about the the money. <laughs> that's it. I love it. I love it. So Chasten, so tell us a little bit more. How um, how did you create all this? How did you get started? And then what tips would you give to uh, agents that are trying to actually build well rather than just go sale to sale? Yeah, for sure. I mean, the biggest thing that well, let's start with how I created it. Um, I, I I created and started the same way everybody else does, just getting that license and trying to hit the ground running. However, it was not a a fast process for me by any means, especially at the beginning, because my first year in real estate, I only made $9,000, literally $9,000. And, you know, that could be a little discouraging, but I felt like I was just gaining my momentum and I was just getting it going. And, and then I've had my ups in the business. I've had my downs, um, but I've experienced making a lot of money. I've experienced spending a lot of money. Um, I've experienced the money coming in fast and I've experienced the money coming in slow over my career. And you start to notice things that you like and want more of, but then you also start to notice things that you didn't like. Um, as an example, when I was making a lot of money, I didn't like that I had no time. I, I had no time for anything. No, no nothing. I was always tired. I was angry. Um, I liked closing a lot of clients and having a lot of transactions, but I didn't like being always stressed out about something going wrong or somebody angry or somebody talking to me crazy. I, I, I liked getting listings, but I didn't like sitting on the phone like I was a nobody as a seller is saying bad things to me, you know, and I couldn't find that balance. You know, I was like either I can have it good or I'm going to deal with all of this crap, you know? Um, and so I had to start thinking about how can I make this really good for me? You know, that's when I started expanding out into a team, like, okay, maybe if I don't want to do it as much, I can have team members do it, do it more. Um, then I started looking into opening up a brokerage, like, well, I can have a whole slew of people doing it for me. But the way I think in my experiences, I saw even more problems with that. Um, and so, you know, that was just around the money. And I was mostly just thinking about income and I wasn't thinking about wealth. So um, that's how it all started for me. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I've totally been there. I can totally relate. I mean, that story is is spot on. And I think a lot of agents are there, you know, um, when the commission checks are coming in, it's it's awesome. You know, your cash flow rich, but time freedom isn't there. Right. So that that makes total sense. So when you get to that point, what was what was your thought process? What were you doing? Um, what were you looking into? And then what was the solution? Sure. Yeah. So so when I got to that point, I had to sit down and think about, okay, this is the business. This is the real estate business. These are what I know my options to be. Um, how can I create wealth with this? My first thought went to investing. Okay. I can start investing in properties. I can, I can get these properties, rent them out and probably make $200 a month per property. 
yeah. right? And then it was like, well, dang, how many properties am I going to need to support my lifestyle? So I saw that that wasn't the solution, um, but I had to start thinking even deeper, right? The brokers that I was at, the model that I had, you know, was that a wealth model or was that a income model? In a lot of places, a lot of real estate brokerages, you're gonna see, you're gonna probably notice that they all speak in GCI, 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 right? <laughs> and they're all just talking about income, income. Like they weren't teaching the wealth. Um, and, and I knew that I needed to be somewhere and be around people or be at a firm that promoted wealth. So ended up changing, um, brokerages. And with that change, something crazy happened. I started making way more money and doing way less work because of the model right that afforded me the opportunity to create investments create other companies um hire staff for these other companies leverage these different um businesses and income models give back to the community in, in a, a different way and create wealth for myself and passive like making passive income so I got passive income working for me. I got wealth working for me. Now, what does that equal? Equals more time, more opportunity, more freedom, all the things that I wanted just by aligning myself financially with the right people in the right model. That makes total sense. So from what I'm hearing, it's like, you know, you started this thing and started to snowball, freed up some of your time and give you that additional cash flow piece. And then you started rolling that into different businesses. Uh, different opportunities. I know you, it looks, it looks like you're flipping houses now too. Um, so maybe that freed up some of your time instead of dealing with those angry sellers. Now you're out there flipping houses with the cash flow that you're using from business number one. So it's kind of like a snowball effect, right? Mm -hmm. And you're working on the business rather than in the business. Right. Right. That makes total sense. That makes total sense. And I think that's a, a mindset flip that a lot of agents need to, to start thinking about. Cause, um, yeah, yeah. they're going to yeah. And, and, and it's important to know, you know, these things take time. And that was one thing that I wish I would have known and considered early on, because for me, it was like flipping a switch, like turning the page. Now I'm starting this when in actuality, I could have been doing it all along. Um, had I been aligned with the right opportunity to do it, you know, to promote this. And the thing is, I knew I couldn't stop selling real estate. Like, you know, you work hard to get this license. You grinded out all of these, these years, you made a name for yourself. I didn't want to, nor even today, just cut it off, stop cold Turkey. Like all of that meant nothing. So I knew it would always be there. However, what I didn't know was the other opportunities that were there with this same license or with this same industry, um, with this same community, I didn't know that. And once I found that out and once I saw the possibilities, it was like a kid in a candy store. I was like, oh, I want that. I want that. I want that. I want that. Right. And I, I went and got it. I went and got it. And it's it's something what I've been able to to build and what most of my um, peers and colleagues have, have been able to build is something that pays us month over month and year over year, something that will be willed down to my children, something that has me in a state now of not having to worry about anything. That's huge. And uh, Jason, you have it. So how, how important is multiple streams of income for agents? Like, what does that feel like? What does that look like? How important is it? Very important. I mean, you read any, any book around I income, wealth, millionaires, they're all going to tell you multiple streams of, of income. Um, but what we don't realize as, as agents is that our commissions, it's just one stream. It's just one stream. And yeah, it's a stream that can make you a lot of money. But I'll tell you, as your money goes up, your expenses are going to go up 
and that stream stops the moment that you stop working right yeah. and it's Im important to know not only having multiple streams but having something having these streams pay you passively passively for for that that passive income instead of just active income right instead of just that income that you have to work for right put in be able to put in the work now right and live off of it instead of having to work just to live that makes total sense and i think a lot of people you know i'm out there talking to agents and um a lot of agents don't even know the difference between active and passive income but, yeah you know it's i know it's something that you know we read in different books like rich dad poor dad and all that stuff so but just for those that don't know like what's the what's the major differences i mean the way the way that i think about the two incomes and and i i use this just to make it real simple for 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 people passive income is the money that you're um making while you sleep so passive income you're making money while you sleep that active income you're making money at your desk or or you're or you're making money like you have to be doing something unlocking the door going on an appointment going you know you're not taking a vacation for six months out of the year you're not working just from anywhere right you're not having that lifestyle because you have to be present right there doing the same thing over and over again so that's 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 how i put it to people that's huge that is huge and, and i'm sure there's a lot less stress um in your life now that you don't just rely on one single source you know like when's the next commission coming when Am I going to get paid? Is this deal going to close? Am I going to be able to pay my mortgage? Like all that stuff is, it's stressful, you know? Yeah. And man, I've, I've dealt with my share of stress in, in this business. And, you know, it makes it hard to even work um, when you're stressed out like that. You know, people can can feel it and, and people can tell when you're unhappy or you're stressed out. You don't get good sleep. You don't eat good meals. Um, you're not having fun. You're just worried. And I me personally i can't live that life of worry and if there's something that, that i can do about it you know and it, it could be a drastic change like moving my business from one brokerage to another but i want to do that in order to not worry in order to live a more fulfilling life to have more fun to love on my family different you know i'm willing to do that that is awesome that is awesome and i know you've been building this for a while so um, how many are you up to now? How many income streams have you counted them? I mean, that's a that's a pretty fun topic. How many? How many? What? How many income streams are you up to now? Oh man! I know you've been um, doing it for a while, so uh, and I'll probably, <laughs> you're probably. I mean, because because I don't because I don't want to be like that guy, like oh, yeah. you know. But it's 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 definitely more than seven now. That's awesome. Uh, and there are some that are way bigger than others, but at the end of the day, they all add up. That is huge. That is huge. And that's something to aspire to as an agent, you know, going from one to two, then how do I get from two to three? And then how do I get from three to five, you know? Um, and I think that's a good thing. It can be anything from buying rental property to starting a team to it, it's, it, you can be creative with it, right? Um, yeah. And, so and Chris, one important thing to say about that, uh, because I just shared seven plus income streams you know and the first question that comes to people's mind is how do you have time for that right how do you have time when did you have time and that just goes right back to what i was saying before you know when you're making income differently right it affords you time when you're making that income passively it affords you time to be able to have other income streams set those up get those going and now that turns into passive income for you so it's all a big snowball but you have to have the right model behind you that makes total sense and then it compounds over time yep that's that's awesome that is awesome so uh, before we wrap up anything else you want to add no i think that's that that's, that's it you know because i mean i could go on about this all day but <laughs> <laughs> no i love it it's an important topic it really is and it's it's something that i think a lot of agents need to focus on because if not they're going to be left high and dry i think i think it's one of those things where this industry can be great or it could be not so great 
and a lot of it's um, all what you do. And it's up to you. That's the best part about it. So um, if you have questions, drop it in the comment section below. Uh, Chase and I will do our best to get back to you and answer those questions. Um, and if you like real estate content for real estate, real estate entrepreneurs, definitely subscribe and hit the like button. Thanks for tuning in. Oh, 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 oh,